Hi folks, Alan at MindVisionMedia.net. Today's tutorial is going to be about changing the font family in WordPress. I get a lot of requests for this particular one and I have reached the quota that I require to uh, produce a video. So if you have a certain topic or WordPress theme or a particular video tutorial that you would like to see, please visit my website mindvisionmedia.net send me an email with your tutorial request and once I reach a quota uh, a certain number of requests for that particular topic I will go ahead and produce a video alright so let's go ahead and get started and then we're gonna jump over to WordPress I'm in my dashboard and I know you're, you're saying wow look how many themes this guy has well this is my local installation of WordPress as a developer and a uh, WordPress teacher instructor I use a lot of themes um, I use these particular themes to help clients and um, perform tests on different themes and plugins try out different methods and speaking of which if you need one-on-one -on -one training or you need a WordPress website designed you can go ahead and visit my website at mindvisionmedia.net and under my MVM products page there are options there for you to select which service you would like and I would be happy, happy to uh, provide that service for you um, I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one training and uh, you can get exclusive one-on-one -on -one training through Skype or GoToMeeting and learn what you need to learn and as I mentioned you can also have me design your website alright so now that we got that out of the way just wanted to mention that and let's jump over to plugins and we are going to install a new one so click on add new and the name of this particular plugin is easy google fonts go ahead and do a search for that it should pop up right at the top you want to make sure it's by titanium themes really excellent job developing this plugin and you can always get the plugin details for any plugin by clicking the details page this will give you the latest information it shows here that this plugin was last updated five days ago which is really great it shows it's compatible to WordPress 3.9 it shows you how many downloads they've had etc um, it gives you all the details and usually a link to uh, their plugin site or anything like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and install that plugin. Click OK. Plugin is installed. Go ahead and click Activate Plugin. And there it is Easy Google Fonts. Now I just want to show you what that plugin installs. If you go under Settings, you will see a new option called Google Fonts. Alright. And today what we're going to do is use the appearance customize option under WordPress. A lot of people don't use this section and what it allows you to do is make modifications to your site, uh, customizations to your site, and once you save it, it's done. You don't necessarily have to you know, bounce back and forth and refresh your page and all that types of stuff. So. The plugin installs another option under the customizer called typography. So let's go ahead and jump in there. And as you can see, you can edit the paragraph, text, you can edit your heading one or H1 ta uh, titles, which is right here. You can edit your H2 right here. And it allows you to edit H1 through H6. All right. So let's go ahead and do the title. Uh, just for this demonstration, I want to show you how easy this is. We click on Edit Font, and we're under the Styles tab. Let's go to Font Family. And basically, it's on Theme Default. Now, you get the standard fonts with it, typical web-friendly uh, fonts. But the awesome thing about this plugin is it gives you a list of Google fonts. And as you can see, you have quite a few choices aside from the normal default fonts provided in WordPress and some of the other plugins are quite complicated 
this one is really easy. So let's go ahead and select a font for our title. Um, I have so many I like, but let's just pick something random here. I don't like that. Let's see. How about... That yeah, looks kind of crazy. Just so you can see the the changes take effect. Okay, and now we're going to jump over to the appearance tab where you can change the color. It's on the default. Let's change that to, let's say, brown. Okay, I like that. Let's go ahead and save and publish. I'll go ahead and close that for now. I'll press on my website link here in the dashboard holding down the control key at the same time and it will open up a new window tab and as you can see we got a nice different font okay you can choose from many fonts let's jump back over to the dashboard go back to the customize window click on typography and let's go ahead and change our h2 subheadline all right go to h2 click on edit font go to font family you also have other options here as well okay font weight text decoration, text transform, uh, subsets, and also appearance, as I mentioned, and positioning as well. All right, so let's go to font family and select another font for the H2. Let's just scroll, keep scrolling. Tons of fonts. Let's see. Oh, so many choices. Hey, that's a racing font. Okay, let's go ahead and keep that. We'll go to appearance. And let's choose font color. Let's do a green. All right, I like that. Let's go ahead and keep that. And you can even put a background color for the font. And you can also change the size just by sliding this right here. Let's do that right there. Looks good. Not particularly a combination I would use, but just for demonstration purposes. And let's go on over here and refresh real quick. And as you can see, you now have different fonts. Okay. This is probably <laughs> one of the simplest plugins I've used, and it has become a favorite of mine. Again, it installs a tab under the customizer called Typography, which grants you many options. You can change the paragraph font, this font here. Let's go ahead and select something different for that. How about bangers or anything? I mean, I'm just selecting stuff randomly. Let's go ahead and save and publish that. Go ahead and close. Jump over to the site. And there you have it. Awesome. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at mindvisionmedia.net. I hope this tutorial was simple, quick, straight to the point, easy for you to understand. And I know as soon as you're done watching this, you're going to go install this plugin. It is called Easy Google Fonts. And the name is perfect. It's easy and it gives you a list of Google fonts to choose from. All right, without going through all types of hassles and uh, setting up different uh, things for uh, uh, Google fonts. Other plugins just make it a little more difficult. I found this one to be extremely easy to use, simple, no conflicts, just a great plugin altogether. And it's absolutely going on my list of favorite plugins. All right, so once again, if you have a request for a particular tutorial and you'd like to see that, go ahead and email me at mindvisionmedia.net. And once I reach a quota, like I said, I will go ahead and produce a video. All right, if you have any questions, go ahead and contact me. Leave me some likes, and thanks for tuning in. Take care. Bye.